so for this one it's pretty much the same as a lot of the other blue screener deaths but this one can also be due to like malware i found that uh, overclocking or uh, overheating because of overclocking can throw this one for this one you're just going to go to cmd make sure it's elevated right to the dsim tool online clean up check health press enter let that run after that do restore health on the last one press enter again let this run again then afterwards you can do system file check Oop. let's see if I can delete everything yeah you can't do that alright system file check Again now let this run beat this a couple times you know if you got a bad driver get a device manager click on the device properties driver roll back update it just make sure it's in a, uh, a stable version obviously if it's grayed out you're gonna have to manually uninstall reinstall if you think hardware uh, is the issue You can open up the uh, reliability monitor. You can just system search for it, or you can do WinR, and then you can do perfmon space row. We'll bring it to uh, the monitor. Um, and if you find like events, they'll show up as like like a little caution sign or like a little red icon you can click on that and it'll give you kind of more of an insight of when things went wrong so you can kind of narrow down the timeline of like a recent update or you know overheating what have you if it is an overheating issue you the best thing to do is just to like disable overclocking or go to like the configuration settings for that and reduce it to like a manageable level you know overheating it may be because of like the thermal paste you might have to you know uh, reapply a new thermal paste or make sure uh, your system's got you know proper regulation for heat if you recently like upgraded like the ram make sure it's compatible with your system you know if you got mixed matched like ram could be an issue sometimes if it's not seated correctly you know you didn't push it all the way down the slot it could be an issue and it might not even be recognized in device manager you know if you've got virus or malware um, that will throw the uh, this error as well just make sure when you're doing like the scan, make sure it's it's a trusted application. Windows Defender works just fine. You open up security, the scan's already running, I guess. But make sure you're doing a full scan. Some persistent malware might not even show up. So you might have to resort to third party software. Just make sure it's from a credible source. Persistent malware does like to hide in like your system registry. You know, if you have to get rid of that, best thing to do is just put up CMD and then do the system file checker. Or you can do check disk. So you can do CMD. CHK, DSK, right, file. Um, and then you'll do the uh, slash F for fix. There are also other flags you can do for like covering data you know, dismounting the disk. Check disk does take a while, depending on your system. And make sure it's in an elevated command prompt. Um, you'll see it run in like stages. So, it, you know, it could take, you know, a couple hours if you got, you know, a lot on there. But, you know, if nothing else works, just hate to break it to you, but either restore from like a, uh, you know, a server image or just do a fresh Windows install.